good getting internet and I am back. I made all of the potions that I'm planning on using. They are all they are all in her inventory and I have things separated up by which character is using them. Rightmost column is my rightmost character, Matt, then second to right is Regina, then Ed, then Eileen. Um, each character is going to be drinking four potions. I think that's what I decided to make sure I didn't forget a potion here. Um, let's see. Yep, there are seven stats total, and I'm having each character drink four potions. That makes sense, because... So the way these black potions work, let's use intellect for an example. This is add plus 15 to intellect and minus five might permanently. So having that on my two sorcerers would be a good idea. However, my uh, cleric and knight don't exactly need intellect, so they have the essence of might, which is the opposite. Um, we also have accuracy, which is plus 15 accuracy, minus five luck. That's on three of my characters, and I'm going to give the luck potion over to Ed, since he's... I'm still trying to do the luck thing. We'll see how well that works. Uh, essence of speed is plus 15 speed, minus five personality. So... The cleric who needs personality is getting that. And then everybody's getting endurance because that's just minus one to every stat. Uh, am I missing a stat? We've got might, we've got accuracy, we've got it. Let's see, we've got potions of all of that. Okay, so let's start drinking. Oh yeah, this took a while to actually get all the potions. It's already morning again. Um, and the reason being is that it took me forever to find enough blue potions to do any of this. If I was smart, I would have taken a screenshot before all of this. Oh, hi. So rude for interrupting me on my potion drinking binge. There we go. Everybody's drank their potions. Everybody's drunk their Ovaltine. You throw a bunch of empty potion bottles back in her inventory. Yeah, her inventory is going to be a little open at the moment. And shove it full of berries. And then all of this stuff is going to end up going away. You have more inventory space now. Oh, um, this is Divine Power, which temporarily increases your level, but drops your, or increases your age, right? Yeah, plus one age. Just temporarily moving some of these things over. They take up just enough space, don't they? I could probably drop some of these quest item things at this point, but, 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 but quest items. Okay, that should give me room for that. That'll do. Okay, so let's actually start. <laughs> I mean, here, let me show you the stats. Oh, wait, they're all bonused because of Day of the Gods. Um, so, these are our current stats now. Everybody should have much better hit points than they used to. Um, Eileen's doing great in the might department. Uh, if I get some more points into light magic, she'll actually be able to pluck the sword from the stone which is yet another artifact that I won't be using. Go away, guard. Anyway, once more, before I was so rudely interrupted. Most things in here are probably not going to be a challenge for me right now because I'm really well set up. I love this. There's like a little hole here. And remember what I said before about as long as you can see them, you can attack them. 
still applies even through this tiny hole. All I picture is basically me just stabbing things through the hole and for some reason them actually dying from it. Got that one. I don't understand this game sometimes. Anybody else want to jump in here? Apparently not. Oh, they're running away now. This game makes no sense with how its physics work. Or not physics. Well, yeah, this actually sort of is physics, but it's line of sight thing. Just no sense at all. So anyway, we are in here to pick up the key. Oh, you'll notice I had Hour of Power recast. I I stopped by a... Whatchamacallit? Um, uh, temple on my way out because, well, I was right next to one anyway because I had to search... Let's see, I s cleared every single item out of... New Serpical Castle Iron, er, item on the ground, I mean. New Serpical Castle Iron Fist, and I started clearing out Free Haven when I finally got enough. You like how I'm powerful enough where I'm not paying attention whatsoever to what I'm actually doing? And, to give you an idea, I'm not higher than normal level. I'm actually slightly below normal level. I found a fairly high level sword in the bed. Okay. More money. No problems. My apologies if my snark gets to people when it comes to this game. I, as I've, oh, of course, now you have more. Um, oh, you have a broken item. I didn't even notice. See, this is why I have, well, I have to have leather on a knight, but um, this is why I have chain on a knight. Um, I'm just gonna fight or trap disarm this. Create food spell. Okay. Sure. That's money. I will find a spot for it in a bit. Nice. That's money. Um, I really should have tried to clear things out before coming here, but that would have required forethought and planning, which is not my strong suit today. Um... That'll have to do green, purple, white. Oh yeah, how am I doing on stats for these? Green here, purple. Yeah, you need speed badly. And white's over here, so green, purple, white. What else do I have? Red and orange. Um, intellect. And might. There we go. Taken care of. This is actually supposed to be a really difficult dungeon. I, I've i never actually had problems in this dungeon, regardless of what level I've been. Now watch I end up dying horribly from something or another. I don't know what. Nothing here is really threatening to me. Hi. Bye. And I'm still going to go into turn-based mode through these sections because I can take a lot of damage. In theory. Work. Hit the beds. That's not even worth carrying, is it? That's actually enchantable, isn't it? It just dawned on me that pole axe is enchantable. Also, I need to get rid of these. Ah, it poisons, so it's hard for me to get rid of quickly. Damn it. So you can actually eat herbs, but poppy snaps, if you eat them, just poison you and they do nothing else. How am I doing? Uh, oh, yep, you need to recast haste. Good. Um, oh, what was I doing? Um, I was trying to move 
stuff around a bit. Let's throw the axes down there because they're short. This doesn't even belong here. You don't belong here. Grumble, grumble. You don't belong there. Ugh. Such disorganized garbage. I'm going to end up having to sell things anyway. Just hold that for now. Okay. There. There. Now I can do that. And that. Sure. Done. I'm probably never going to need that many yellow potions the rest of the game, but you know, whatever. Um, these are now all enchantable. Let's go ahead and continue sorting. There. Now I have inventory space. About time. Hi. I don't know why you're standing still. How about you die? You're stuck on a chair. Good job, game. Let's just say the AI in this is astounding sometimes. All right, jail cells. You have an in here? No. Was there something special about this? No, okay. I think there's an enemy on this side? Or is this just a doorway? Something rumbles off in the distance, okay. That opens something up. I think it opens up half the gate, was it? Yeah, there's like two halves of this gate. Just letting things go by, see if I can... Hi! I can see your feet so I can stab you. Why they're not attacking me, I don't know, because I know they're capable of it. I will clean up the dead bodies through the grating. There we go. Okay. Just trying to eliminate some of the mess that's going to come up when I go through that. Right, you apparently have two people there. I have fireball. How about I activate all of you? And how about I do it again? How about you come over here? Hi. Some of them didn't look like they took damage from that. That's weird. Um, much better. A lot of ways, I kind of wish this game had a slightly different implementation of the uh, found money, found money, found item. Nope, three money. Okay, a uh, slightly different way of implementing the um, mouse look. The mod, I should say, not the game. The game itself doesn't actually have mouse look. Another treasure room. That is useless. Money is never useless because it takes up inventory. Empty, empty. Purple, blue, blue. So these three are for the cleric. White, purple, green, green. Who needs endurance? I'm just going to give all of this to Matt. Okay, then save, fire trap disarm. 
Remains of a journal. Don't know how he does it, but Lord Eustace is sometimes able to disappear from the throne room so quickly sometimes. I'm not even sure where he goes, but there's only one exit. I thought there might be a secret exit from the room, but that's just plain silly. Besides, I've never found any triggers when I've searched the dots. That's totally enchantable. That is not. You know what? That's not even worth picking up. That's barely... Yeah, it's not worth picking up either. It's probably worth using. Oh, doesn't matter. Let's kill more stuff. So, um, this is going to be a dungeon crawl heavy section of the game, basically, because we've done a lot of the outdoors stuff at this point. Uh, I think this calls for a drink. Ode to Fireball. May it forever cover our fiery brethren in accordance with prophecy. I am so fast compared to them. Also, how am I doing on haste? 12 minutes. I will recast it next turn. Haste. I mean, these ogres are supposed to be relatively hard, I swear. Okay, bed, nothing, crap tons of money, and the beds are empty. I thought there was some hidden door in here or something, but I'm not seeing it. Hmm. You are lowercase. Ah, I just went through the wall, I think. Oh, that was not intentional. Let us continue. Have you noticed that I haven't really healed? And I'm still doing perfectly fine on hit points? This is, yeah, I'm too powerful for this area now. I do like how it's very symmetrical. off in the distance. Now I believe the main gate is open and this is where all hell can break loose. Which is why I'm gonna sneak 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 my way around here. Main gate is open and turn base mode. That's a nice glitch I'm seeing through the wall. Yeah, I might as well heal for the first time because somebody's finally kneeling. Yeah, this does 12 damage. This does 6 damage. And the other one goes 25 damage. Um, technically I have 12 ranks in fire magic, so this does almost as much. And they don't appear to be resistant to fire. Or, yeah, they don't appear to be resistant to fire. I used the right term. I meant to have you prismatic light again. Just trying to reduce some of the numbers, which I have done. I just picked up a trident. Ugh. That's just a waste of inventory space. This is also a waste of inventory space. That is not. Hey, look, heal an insignificant amount. Just get that thing out of my inventory. That'll work. Okay. Very few enemies left. Oh wait, there's more here. Oh, something just broke. What broke? Armor. Of course it did. There we 
go. I don't know why that particular character model has relatively low cleavage. I mean, that one's wearing a strapless dress, but the low cleavage really doesn't make sense in medieval setting. Of course, this person has all the cleavage. This per yeah, I guess they're just all really wanting to expose their chest for some reason. Whatever. Time to activate a very large room full of fun things. Inferno, prismatic light. Uh, this is probably going to hit me, isn't it? No, it didn't. Nice. All right. Uh, how am I doing on my recording? Everything's fine. About 20 minutes. I'm doing great. Fireball there. This fireball does more damage. Uh, prismatic light. Now I'm only dealing with the high level enemies, and there's very few of them. Ugh. Let me guess armor. How did I guess? Almost as though she's always missing armor. And I'm in green. Some leather armor that's going to be sold. Lots and lots of loot. That is not worth carrying. Getting the loot first. I know there's other stuff in here. My, oh, actually, let's body power cure. How am I doing on haste? I should just recast Tower of Power. Mind telekinesis. I still got hit. Of course I did. That would have been handy earlier. That's enchantable. That's useless. This can go away. Um, there, that'll work. And then, hey look! So there's supposed to be a secret exit somewhere, right? How about you look at the actual throne? <gasps> there's the exit! Some of these puzzles in this game are just easy. All right. This is why I wanted to power cure, because I'm going to fight or trap disarm all of this. This will do. It's efficient. Money. That's enchantable. That's enchantable. Ugh. That's also enchantable. Okay, I need to make inventory. So that's a four by three. Oh, I can fit the shield in. Um, that can fit there. I am so low on inventory space. Um, I need to... Come on. There we go. Um, I need to get rid of some of this garbage. Even that's better. All right. And these are the Dragon Tower keys. This is the whole reason why I came in here. All right. That is a really nice shield. Letter from the Dragon Riders. Good work on completing the first part of the plan. With this keep, you'll be able to prevent any interference in the south. Use the Dragon Tower keys to shut down the shut off the Dragon Towers, and we'll be able to raid the towns again. You'll be well rewarded for the fine work you have done. Come to our caves in the northwest when you are finished to collect your payment. So this is supposed to be the continuation of a quest, except there's actually no quest in the game for the Dragon Riders. It's just a dungeon with no reason for you to go there. In fact, that right there... Ooh, that's a really nice weapon. That right there is the... Dang, I'm getting some nice loot. Um, yeah, you're going to wear that. 
See, I love how this shield is 13 armor, but a much teeny tiny shield is 18. Um, I'm going to use, uh, yeah. You're just going to drop off some axes. My nose is really itchy right now for some reason. Um, as I was saying, there's no in-game reason for you to actually go to Dragon Riders. There's not even any out-of-game reason. Also, why are my cats crying? I think that's Zone that's crying because Isun's the one out and about right now. Anyway, let's loot the last bit. No, no, sure. Done. This dungeon is complete. So let's do a couple of promotion quests really fast, shall we? This is faster. Bye. Oh yeah, can I actually turn these off without having the quest? Yes, I can. Sweet. So that is actually what we need to do, is that we need to go to each of the Dragon Towers and just turn them off. I have the keys. You know what? Why not just do both at the same time? New Serpical. So the Dragon Tower is right over here, New Serpical. I think. Now this one's off. So I can now fly around as I see fit. I can also go to the temple to go heal up because, oh gods, please heal me. And let's go ahead and sell some crap. Those are not nice. Making sure I'm not selling something enchantable. Yay, antique. Gotta love that enchantment. All right, weapon, sell that garbage. Snorkel's axe is a quest item, but I get to keep it forever. It's beyond his meager knowledge. Sell the gemstones, the useless rings, including, oh, I feel so bad about selling this ring because this is one of the best types of rings in the game. So what the increases effect fall earth spells does is that it increases the your effective level in, in this case, earth magic by 50%. This is extremely useful for certain spells and it's in the one school that I'm not bothering with this game. So bad. This is all cell bait. No, that's cell bait. That's cell bait. Um, is there anything left in his inventory that's cell bait? Yeah, the boots. That's definitely not cell bait. This is way better than most of my weapons. Um, speed and accuracy versus poison. Yeah. I've got a lot of enchantment. Uh, that's cell bait. A lot of enchantment to do. Actually, this goes in your inventory. First. Make room. Damn it, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I can also make room for that black potion now. And then quickly sort... Do, 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 do. That'll do. Why did I walk that way? I don't know. So, Mage Dagger. So, that. Okay, now it's time to enchant. We're going to enchant weapons first. Oh, I already did that one, derp. Alright, axes. Axes. 
axes, axes, axes. All right. Intellect and personality spear. That's almost useful for an archer, but I don't have one. No, no. These are swords. I'm not even going to use them anyway. This is the exact same weapon that I already have. No, no, no. An antique heavy poleaxe. Gotta love enchantment. All right. More enchantment fun. Guess that's already enchanted. I just didn't notice. Oh, that's right. That was the very heavy poison resistance one. Uh, who's got resistances still? I'm actually going to remove the armor class one and give you poison resist because that's probably better. That's also poison resist. Just dang. 10, 12. That'll do. Uh, this is accuracy 12. I think that is going to end up going to you. See any difference? Not really. They're both high enough. I'm just going to sell it then. Uh, amulet. Poison resistance 8. Nope. Shields, those are nope. Chin, that's also a nope. Almost done emptying out my inventory. See how much money I have now? This is what happens when you have really good merchant and a really good enchanter. Okay. That's it for now. Now let's continue our tour of town portaling to mist. It's probably the last time we're going to mist, by the way, other than buying things to enchant, which I'm going to do right now. Um, it's enchantable, but that's it. Ugh, you have next to nothing. Sadly, I'm actually going to buy these because I need blue potion stuff badly. Right. Speaking of buying blue potion stuff, I might as well hit here while I'm at it. That'll do. Okay. Uh, weapons and armor. Let's go rob the stores here. You. That is actually enchantable. Armor. Enchantable. Almost worth picking up, actually. That's enchantable. I forgot to actually check regular here, but yeah, no. Yeah, I don't actually care about how rude they are. Um, Dragon Tower is here. Got that. Town portal. Silver Cove. Let us continue our grand spree of looting every town in the game. You break it, you buy it. Thanks a lot. He just doesn't seem like he should be in this business. Okay, I've already looted you. All right, where the hell is it? Oh, there's a dragon tower. It's always nearby town. So the reason why I'm using town portal to do this is that I've mentioned this before, but all of the dragon towers in the game are actually nearby or in towns with town portal. Uh, how am I doing on haste? Let's go ahead and recast. Screw it. I'm lazy. Um, they're all nearby the wells that you town portal to. There are none of these in the game that are not 
in a town portal location, which is very nice. Very nice, very nice. Blackshire is the last one I need to go to. Uh, have I looted Freehaven recently? Yes. And I know I've looted Blackshire. That was like, what, one game day ago or something? I may not have actually had a chance to loot here. I did, okay. Uh, I could loot Creek Spire while I'm looting things, but that's actually not a bad idea. Let's hit Creek Spire before I head back. Uh, recall Creek Spire. So, let's take a look and actually check out Creek Spire for the first time. This item shop here, Unusual Enchantments, is the best item shop in the game for magic item. Unfortunately, most things end up enchanted, so you don't normally find things that you can enchant here. But it has the highest level of items possible for you to find. I mean, I don't exactly find gothic amulets very often. That's enchantable. That's enchantable. That's enchantable. Uh, Solving cloak enchantable? Eh, if not, I'll just sell it. Protection from fire, healing touch, protection from fire. I'm pretty sure I have protection from fire on both characters. If not, I don't care. Um, these items are all kind of crappy. And do I want that amulet of resistances? Uh, that's probably better than her claw amulet now that I think about it. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick it up. You pick it up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. I'm just enchanting stuff. Nope, not high enough quality. Okay. Might six, intellect six, cold resist. double tapped since I sell it cost everywhere anyway it doesn't particularly matter it's like 12 is not that bad does this give me any difference in spell points yes it does I get an extra five spell points for reaching 101 intellect this is what I meant by diminishing returns, by the way. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and swap that out. Antique, cell bait, cell bait. Everything's still at cost, so I'm not too concerned. Alright, now let's go exploring the rest of town. So here's the stables. The trowel that will get you poisoned. Armor works. Once more, no plate mail. Ugh. Oh, well, that's enchantable. That's enchantable. Plus 10 personality, plus 8 speed. Eh. Enchantable. Already enchanted. Ugh. Everything's already enchanted. These are, oh, that, that's actually not that bad for armor, but it doesn't beat what he's currently wearing. Come back soon. Come back soon. See, this is not a real dragon tower. It is actually just an obelisk. And there's people in each of the buildings as usual, but basically this town feels like a ghost town because everybody's stuck in their building. Knight's Paradise, you have a Supreme Axe. That is the best type of axe for a one-handed weapon in the game. I will definitely buy that. This is the best type of mace for a one-handed mace in the game. The hammer that I have, I think, is better, but that's enchantable, that's enchantable. 
that's already enchanted, so I don't care. That's enchantable. Those are all not. Okay. Oops. Sorry, this has turned into an enchantment episode. But I promise I'm completing a bunch of quests also. Really, I'm just trying to delay Garrick's. Double damage versus dragons versus increased rate of recovery. Yeah. I mean, it's an extra plus three attack, which is great. But swiftness is really nice. Doom. Five poison versus one. Eh. I actually prefer what I have. This is the only one where it's like, mm, double damage versus dragons is not that bad of an idea. And that's a really nice weapon. Mm, nope, I'm not doing it. I'd rather have the swiftness right now. Yeah. Sad, but true. Okay, now that I've looted Kriegspire, there's not really much else for me to loot beyond... Uh, what would this fountain do? Oh yeah, that's right. Eradication. Ugh. I mean, I can... No, I don't even have the resurrection spell, do I? Oh yeah, I do. I have all the spells. Let's eradicate my entire party, shall we? Oops. Dang it. Actually, that might still work because I have Town's Portal. Why are you constantly failing? Yeah, this was not exactly where I wanted Town Portal to. I don't... Th I think I'm screwed and need to reload. Double checking. Yeah. So I accidentally double tapped. Pass. Yeah. Cast, resurrection. Pass, cast, resurrection. Enter. Pass, pass. Eradicate, pass, pass. Town portal, free haven, because I can actually er, uneradicate myself in free haven. And let's head over to the temple. Recasting fly because I got eradicated, so fly went away. 2,800 gold to heal from that. But I have plenty of money. Let's actually save in a real save because I keep forgetting to. I'm sure somebody will have pointed that out by the time that this goes live. Anyway, um, I'm going to actually complete those quests that I said I was going to before I got to Ushani distracted. So, I don't think I've ever tried completing both of these at once. We'll find out if I can. It is nice to be able to fly and not get fireballed in the face anymore. I can't remember what's on top of the castle here. Is there an actual house? Master Diplomacy. That's why I don't remember, because it's useless. Right? Battle Mages. Very good, you got the key and hopefully slew a large number of those loathsome beasts. I hereby promote all archers to the status of battle mage and all non-archers to the to honorary battle mage. The reason why I wanted the key was to open the dragon towers and make the adjustments to prevent them from shooting flyers indiscriminately. There's a way to adjust the dragon towers to shoot at only large objects, and I want all of them adjusted for the good of the kingdom. Magic is becoming more common, as are stories of young sorcerers getting shot from the sky because they didn't know the function of the towers. You have the key. If you adjust all of the towers to only shoot at large objects, I'll promote all battle mages amongst you to warrior mages and promote any honorary battle mages to honorary warrior mages, which I just finished. Welcome, warrior mages. You may warm yourself by my hearth anytime. We are done with him. I mean, technically, we're actually done with the zone, even though I've explored so little of it. Um, there is stuff down there, but not anything significant to speak of. Um, 
27 minutes. Just go ahead and recast Hour of Power. Uh, what can I do next? I've got 15 minutes, and I've only completed three quests. Let's go. Uh, defeat the Warlord, which is from Silver Cove. Uh, this is still not a full moon, because not enough time have passed, right? Yeah, still three quarter because what one day has passed? One day. Um Blackshire, Blackshire, Darkmoor, everywhere. Alright, my options are Silver Cove or Well, I can clear out the Temple of the Moon, I just can't do anything with it. Or finally go deal with the hourglass of time. I don't want to deal with that hourglass of time. Let's go clear out everything else. So, Free Haven, I can clear that out so I can just town portal there at any point. Oops, there we go. Do zoom! Once more, there's no enemies left here and there's no dragon towers. No, I don't want to go to the Frozen Highlands. I just overshot. So, we were here a long time ago. Let's re-enter. There's a lot of snacks. You know what I say to snacks? Fireball. I did not hit anywhere near as many of them as I thought I would. They are too far away, that's why. All right, that one right there is the one I'm afraid of. Nice glitch there. Um, let's go ahead and prismatic light. Grand Druids, are you immune to fist to the face? No, no you are not. You're also not immune to getting arrowed. How about a fireball to the face? Nope. Wow, I'm actually using magic. As in, magic attack. Whatever. Eat ice! Not you. Okay. Notice, we finally have more snake eggs. Um, that's what's up here. Found gauntlets. Yeah, this dungeon's not hard, which is why I'm going through here now. Or, I should say, I'm going through as much as I can. Because... Life above all, accuracy before might, endurance before speed, and finally luck. That's how you open the door. It's a puzzle. I'm just trying to... Oh, there's Medusa's back here. That's right. That's why this dungeon's obnoxious. And I have no way of healing... Getting stoned. None at all. So, I need to be careful. Because that's basically death for me. At this point. I have no way of healing it. So that requires earth magic, and that's the one thing I gave up. Uh, is that poison or disease? Poison. You're poison. So there is a way of curing all status effects. Um, Stone of Flesh is also a potion, if I remember correctly. Is probably the only way I can do this. Damn it, there were two of you there. I don't care about the regular druids anywhere near as much as I care about the grand druids. Because the grand druids have the ability to zero out your spell points. Just drops to zero, as you do. This is endurance. We'll be running around a lot. Oh, there's something behind the altar. Stone to flesh. 
That's going to be very helpful. Normally, in a regular game, you can't actually use a scroll of stone to flesh. It's impossible to use. They fixed that in this patch, luckily. Can I even finish this dungeon in time? Let's find out. Uh, there's only three of you. How am I doing on recast regular haste? So, um, by the way, the reason why I'm actually casting Hour of Power instead of Haste occasionally is because it actually lasts longer for my characters right now. More coincidence than anything. That is another stone flash, yes. That's just going to go elsewhere for the time. Actually, I should probably do it this way. Stone to flesh is up at the top. I need to remember that. I'm just going to start getting rid of some of these spell scrolls. Because I don't really need most of them anymore. There. Altar of life. Life is first. I remembered that much. I don't remember the rest of the saying off the top of my head now. You are scary. Okay. What can I do about you? Implosion. I'm going to assume you're immune to poison because you're literally a snake. Arrow. And... Psy shock. I don't have that many points in mind right now. Um, yeah, that never works. We're almost dead, luckily. There we go. And I'm in green. Might. So we've got might and endurance on this side. Also, more cobra eggs. And more scrolls of stone to flesh. And money! So yeah, might down below, endurance at the top. I think endurance might have been the next one, but I don't remember now. That's why I'm going to hit this again. Ooh, thank you, game. I will take any chance I can to not have to get hit by that. It's accuracy, might, endurance, speed. So... You will notice lots of quick saving. There's good reason for that. I can only get hit by a couple of stone, flesh to stone spells, and that's it. You can actually learn flesh to stone. It's almost useful. Salt bait. And I do mean almost, as in there's one use for it in one dungeon of the game, and that's about it. Medusa. Medusa, okay. Inferno. Prismatic light. Didn't even get hit by prismatic light. Crap. Um, Dragon Beth, you all. Just getting them out of my way, basically. Fireball. Got the two Medusas. Let's double check. It does work, okay. You are going to fist. Fist does not work. Of course it doesn't. You're going to fire bolt. You're not the one I was trying to aim at. That worked. Um, okay, I know I've got a druid on this corner that I need to worry about, and this one I don't need to worry as much. Okay, this worked. 
I'm using a lot of magic. That's the only downside. Accuracy. Head back because it's might and endurance. I will double check that again just because I'm paranoid. Might endurance. Might was on the bottom. Endurance is up here. You get a bonus for doing this, right? The first time, was it? Or is it just bonus for having druids? I don't remember. Speed, then finally luck, is what I remember being told. So I'm going to guess that this one is where I forget yet again about haste. Be fair, I can town portal out of here at any time. I'm in free haven zone. Uh, poopy. Double poopy. That will hit me. You are poisoned. Lightly, but don't want to deal with poison. Water magic is so cool. There we go, got the enchantress. Let's Inferno. Okay, I'm good. That was not what I wanted to do. I always freak. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Luck, that's the last one. Also, there's stuff back here as well. Be Valuable things, at least. All right. hmm. Okay. The rest of this dungeon said nothing worth value. Ah. Well, that's not worth it, but whatever. Okay, so speed must be this one. I'm just going to keep haste off so I don't have to keep worrying about it. when they die they sound like cats don't know why I think that I just do speed then luck Oops. then open the door all right got a cloak that damage from missile? That doesn't really help. Anyway, I believe this is the final room. Yeah. That's a lot of enemies. Well, time to light them all on fire. That's right, they're immune to magic. Uh, Prismatic light doesn't do anything against them. Um. Don't suppose I can paralyze? No. That's what that green spell was, by the way, that got attacked, uh, hit on me. Which is why I don't like them. I don't like them at all. We're at right about an hour, so I will be done with this very shortly. So we're going to switch you to fire, uh, to Inferno. Though I don't do as much damage in, with Inferno on that character. It's still worth it then I don't have to deal with this garbage. Did somebody get paralyzed? No. Okay, good. 
You can't quite tell in turn-based mode because they just stop moving. It's not obvious. Still nobody paralyzed. We're good. Still good. It's still good. Uh, I'm doing so little damage to them. I'm concerned I'm going to run out of magic before I do anything else. Still good. Okay, got one. Got all but three. This is doable now. Still not paralyzed. I can cure paralysis, I just can't cure stone. How am I doing on spell points? I'm fine. Okay, we're fine now. And everybody's fine. Right, so now all I have to do is pay attention to when a full moon is, which I know I can just look up, but I haven't. You have money there. You have money. You have a club. It's a killer club. It's the club. And I don't believe I can do anything with this yet. Yeah, I have to wait until... Um, an actual full moon. That's all. So the dungeon's cleared out. As long as I do it within the next six game months, I will just walk in and do it. It's not going to be too hard. And it's relatively easy for me to get. Why am I even doing this? Laziness wins. Go laziness. Form of still lazy. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh, um, how am I doing on levels? I can now train up to level 41. I'm sorry, I'm not winning the life, the universe, and everything, or at least I don't have the answer. So it doesn't count. Uh, time 540, which means you're closed. Yep. I think everybody's closed now, aren't they? I mean, I know I'm already full. Yeah, they haven't reset anyway, because that takes two weeks, and it's been, like, two days. Okay, I have lots of cobra eggs to get rid of. Let's go ahead and just pop over to New Serpical to do that. Might as well get them out of my inventory now. They don't really do me any good anyway. Okay, done. Uh, okay. Silver Cove and New Serpical are the two places I have left. And I am doing everything I can before... Oh, it was 6 p.m. and it just ticked over. Oh, well. Um, we're going to go ahead and stop it here, then. We are starting to wrap up a lot of our quests. Let's go ahead and save. We are stream save 21, so... Um, we are wrapping up most of our quests for the first part of the game. So, Hourglass of Time is here in New Serpical. Uh, Warlord is in Silver Cove, if I remember correctly. Altar of the Moon, we basically have done. We just need to wait until the correct time of year, or time of month. Uh, Monolith is already done. Or, not, Monolith's not already done. Monolith's in Silver Cove, sorry. Um, Blackshire, Blackshire... Darkmoor. We will be doing this Darkmoor quest when we actually need to go there next, because there will be a quest that we have to go there for. Uh, and then statuettes. We've done one of those. I could do bootleg bay now. You know what? Let's just quickly do that. Uh, I know I'm slightly over on time, but I want to do this before I forget and before bootleg bay resets on me. Also, I don't think I've actually looted Bootleg Bay yet. 
Closed. Right, can't. I spent too long. Oh. Um. Do, 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 do. Fly. Map. It's in the top right corner or all the way to the right? Now, those are fountains. So, that's either. No, that's a shrine. Is it there? I probably should be doing this in a different video, but it's somewhat late here and I don't feel like doing anything else tonight. That's a well that I was seeing, okay. Uh, where is the statuette? I don't think it's on one of those two islands. I think it's actually to the north. Like over here. Yep, no. That's a sword in the stone or just a rock and a tree. Here's a shrine. We've already done that shrine. Here's a statuette. Okay. There we go. And now we have done that part of the quest. Um, if we want to do more statuettes, we have to go to Sweetwater, Creek Spire, and Dragon Sand. And I don't remember where it's at in Creek Spire, but we can deal with Creek Spire later. All right, as I was mentioning, and this is all I'm going to be doing for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. We've done a lot more quests than we have before. And my plan is to do my massive level up either right before I deal with Garrick's Lab or right after I deal with Garrick's Lab. Um, we also need to pick up one more quest for reference, but we can pick that up in a bit. Anyway, good night. I'll see you some other time. Well, you'll see me tomorrow at least. Take care.